process of stomatal transpiration. Most of the transpiration takes place through stomata. Stomata are microscopic parts consisting of two kidney-shaped guard cells. In stomatal transpiration, water vapor moves through the stomata of leaf. Water absorbed by the roots rises through the stem and reaches the tissues of the leaves through veins. A large number of spongy mesophyll cells in the leaf have their surfaces exposed to the intercellular spaces. The surfaces of the cells give out some of the water which forms a thin film. The water from this film evaporates and the water vapor formed saturates in the intercellular spaces. This vapor then diffuses into the other connecting intercellular spaces and finally reaches substomatal space from where it escapes out through the stomata. Stomata are absent in the submerged hydrophytes, that is, hydrilla, valesneria. Mechanism of opening and closing of stomata Transpiration occurs as long as the stomata are open. It stops when they are closed. Open and closed stomata Closed stomata, flaccid guard cell, stoma closed, stoma open, turgid guard cell, thick cell wall, thin cell wall. The opening and closing of stomata depend upon the turgid or flaccid state of guard cells. When the guard cells are in the flaccid state, stomatal aperture closes. During daytime, as a result of photosynthesis, as the guard cells have chloroplast, concentration of carbohydrates rises, leading to osmotic uptake of water by the guard cells to swell. Since the wall of guard cells towards stomatal opening is thick, while outer convex wall is thin, inflow of water in the guard cells causes them to bulge outwards, thus widening the stomatal opening. When the osmotic pressure of the guard cells becomes lower during night, the water leaves these cells due to exosmosis and moves to the neighboring epidermal cells, having cell sap of higher concentration. The guard cells become flaccid and shrink and the stomatal aperture closes.